A no spend challenge is a chance to reevaluate your finances by cutting out unnecessary spending. But is cutting out all unnecessary spending for 30 days really sustainable? I'm gonna find out. I'm a really visual person. So I'm going to print up a calendar that I'm going to use to track my progress. Fun bonus, I have a sticker for everything, right? Look what I found in my sticker box. These cute little <laughs> piggy bank stickers. I bought them forever ago, but I only needed one. <laughs> and so this will be their moment to shine. So I'm gonna print up this calendar, hang it up in my kitchen where I will see it all the time. And every day that I have a successful no spin day, I'll just mark it off and kind of keep my eye on the prize, help keep my head in the game, focused on the end goal. I think that will be really helpful for me. I want the satisfaction, so I am putting it on all the days that I have successfully completed so far. In a no spin challenge, you cut out all the unnecessary spending for a set amount of time, usually a week, a month, or a year. But I think a month makes the most sense for my goals. Unnecessary spending are the things that fall under the wants category of your budget. So obviously the things like housing, groceries, utilities, your cell phone, and those sorts of things are all necessities. So they'd stay unchanged. For me, I'm considering the high school stuff my daughter needs. She's a senior. So, you know, stuff pops up. I'm gonna consider those for her necessities. I'm gonna continue to pay those as they come up. But things like getting my hair and nails done, paying for my co-working space, going to the gym, those sorts of things, I consider those wants. So I'll be putting those on pause for the month. Aside from that, my plan is to just take this 30 days day by day. I thought it would be a cool idea to use this time to explore neighborhoods that I don't typically walk through. And so this weekend I'm going to Little Tokyo because parking is free on Sundays. And now I'm walking through this neighborhood near my neighborhood and look how cute this street is. On a no spin month, you would typically suspend or pause your streaming platforms because these aren't technically considered needs. These are things that you want. Um, but in my case, I don't actually have a lot of streaming platforms and the ones I do have, I pay for annually. So they're already paid. Um, so I don't really have an issue here, but I downloaded this Tubi app forever ago and I've never even opened it. So I feel like this is a good excuse to explore Tubi, which is a free streaming platform. There's others that you could try to um, freebie I think is one. This could also be a good time if you haven't already to explore the free trials that a lot of the platforms will offer. Like you could do a week of free Hulu, a week of free Discovery Plus, a week of free Paramount Plus, or one of the other dozens of pluses that are out here now, you know? Oh, I have a lot of movies. Okay. I'm not mad at YouTube. This is, these are actual options. This is also a good time to get out, go for a hike, go for a walk, maybe explore a park you haven't explored before, kind of get to know your, your town a little bit better, take your pup for a walk. So it's been a pretty rough week and this weekend's gonna be really busy. So I did something that I'm not super proud of. I got a chai latte because they're my favorite and I just, you guys don't judge me. I just wanted the little pick me up to get me through this weekend. Um, so yes, I spent $6 at my local cafe supporting small businesses and getting my chai latte. So I'm about halfway through and it really hasn't been that bad. Um, I had that one slip up obviously, um, but I feel like I'm doing well. I'm proud of myself and the progress that I've been making. It hasn't been as hard as I, as I thought once I kind of explained to my friends what I was doing. You know, we just kind of figured it out and made it work. So a very satisfying boom for today. Have y'all heard about these? Apparently they have buy nothing groups on Facebook, which are exactly what they sound like. You can sell, well, I guess it's not selling if there's no money involved. You can give away items for free on there and simultaneously you can request items that you might be looking for, which is a pretty cool concept and it's supposed to be like a whole community. So I'm going to check it out on Facebook. They, they apparently have an app too, but I'm just gonna visit one of the Facebook groups. I think that's where like the original concept got its start. So let's see what we can see. I, I don't actually need anything, but maybe I'll find something that I didn't know I wanted. So I feel like I'm at an unfair advantage for a no spin challenge because 
I'm an introvert. I love having excuses to stay at home. Like what? I have to stay home? Oh no, what a shame. All my things are here. I'm trying to push myself and I do still want to hang out with my friends because um, I was traveling a lot over the holidays. So I really haven't gotten to spend a ton of time with them. So I'm looking at free things that we can do that I can still stay true to my challenge and um, make it all the way through without spending. So I had the idea to try fitness classes. Look at this. There's like so many fitness classes that offer like a free class or a free trial. So like this one will let me have a week of free classes, like as many as I want. So I'm gonna invite one of my friends and we're gonna do this. It's yoga day, which fun, right? I found out it's actually hot yoga, which I've never done before, but it sounds very much like going in a room and being hot for an hour. And I don't know that that necessarily excites me, <laughs> um, but I'm trying to, um, remind myself that indirectly this is gonna save me money or something, right? So wish me luck with this. Okay, so I survived. Maybe I was being a little over dramatic. It wasn't that bad. I looked at their thermostat, it was 106 degrees, which is hot, but that's like a normal <laughs> summer day in Los Angeles. So granted, I'm not usually working out in it, but it was all right. It wasn't too bad. Um, obviously, I couldn't take my phone in to kind of capture some video for you guys because of people's privacy. But yeah, it was good. I'm actually thinking I might try a couple of other classes while I have this free trial week. Maybe not the hot one. I might need a break <laughs> and to replace my electrolytes or whatever <laughs> from that one for a few days. But I might try a couple of their other classes. And look, they gave me this little welcome card. Isn't that nice? Written notes aren't dead yet. I had been doing pretty well. I had only had that one slip, but my daughter's birthday is on the second, which obviously I knew before I started this challenge, but I thought I would just figure it out when the challenge was over. But my last day of the challenge is the 31st and her birthday's on the second, which really doesn't give me a whole lot of time. So I spent today um, and it's not like I feel like I had to spin, but I wanted to, you know? So no sticker for me today. Womp womp. So I got this gift card for Christmas, which is so nice, 50 bucks. And I'm debating how I wanna use it because you are able to use gift cards on a no spend challenge because this is money that was given to you by someone else. It's not you actively spending any money from your own account for it. How tempting, right? 50 bucks, it's not like it's a ton of money, but I could certainly do things with it. Like I could go to Target, and buy so many things from that little dollar, dollar section. Y'all know I love that. But you can't go into Target and then not look at the other things, right? And what if my total comes to $50 and five cents? Then I have to spend five of my own cents and technically I fail my personal no spend challenge. So these are the things that I struggle with. Dun, 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 dun. I survived. <laughs> 30 days was not terrible. <laughs> I think the hardest part for me was being honest with myself when I was doing things like shopping for groceries. Like, come on, Nikita, is that really a need or do you just want it? But I made it through 28 out of the 30 days, which feels like a success. And I saved a ton of money, which was the goal. For me, my biggest saving was my going out expenses. I saved $300 over the 30 days. I saved about 50 bucks in gas just since I was driving less, which was a fun little unexpected saving. One thing I will say if you want to do this challenge, but you feel like you'll be easily tempted to spend is to take a step back from social media because... Seeing people doing things like traveling or going to events that you had to skip out on will definitely make it unnecessarily tough. Also, don't binge spend once the challenge is over. I know that it's tempting because you've saved all this money and maybe you've had stuff in your cart, but like day 31 does not mean you go and you purge your cart and like spend all the money that you just saved. Keep your healthy spending habits and don't undo all of your hard work. Keeping the goal that you have for yourself, your savings goal, your why, like why are you doing this in the first place at the front of mind, might help make this a little bit easier. 
And if you decide to take up a no spin challenge for yourself, whether it's for a month or for a year, set yourself up for success. Define what this means for you. So are you like me and you're cutting out all unnecessary spending or for you, does it mean that you're really just reevaluating how you spend? Like maybe you're not spending money on new clothes, but you are still spending money on thrifting. You know, you're saving in that shopping category. Maybe you're not eating out at restaurants anymore, but you're buying groceries that you wouldn't typically buy because you want to try out some new recipes. It's all about making this savings challenge work for you and your goals. A no spin challenge feel a little extreme. I believe you could handle it. But if you want something a little less intense, check out my all cash challenge here on the Nerd Wallet YouTube channel. Spending with cash only is a great way to reevaluate how you spend as well and possibly save some money in the process.